At least we don't have a time limit. That's one nice thing. There's oh, yes. It's the main body of the Rosalia virus, but mutated. This looks difficult. There we go. That's what I was looking for. We really are going to do this, right? Right. The cardioplegic solution is ready for us. Injecting that will stop her heart. Which is exactly what you want right. for any patient you're Let's treating. Let's go over the procedure one last time. When we inject the solution, the heart will stop and we can excise the membrane. Is that like a worm in her heart? After membrane Ugh. extraction, we'll inject concentrated antiserum into the main body. Got it? Yeah. There's never been a heart-stopping operation performed without a heart-lung machine. Please, we've got to finish everything before Naomi passes on. Let's begin. I'm a doctor. Saving lives is my purpose. All right, let's go. Scalp. Forceps. Now, injecting the serum. Ugh, we're not done yet, you monster. Oh gosh, your vitals are actually going all the way down. That's not good. Be gone. Suck it, you. You worm thing? You catter catter pee worm thing? Ooh. <sighs> the mutant Rosalia has disappeared. Is it over? Treatment complete. The procedure was a success. We really saved her. Oh, right. Sutures. Oh, you're done suturing it? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Closing the operation area. You should rest a bit. It's almost over. Let's close the curtain on this. Give me the stapler! I need it! We can't bandage this. The sutured area. This will finally be the end. Operation complete. Let this disease pass from this world. Yeah, I got a lot of misses in there. Didn't do too bad, though, I'd say overall. An A. Not bad. <laughs> I'm finally starting to relax a little. <laughs> I think I understand what you mean. <laughs> this is just too awesome for words! Really? Is that is that it? Okay, let's see. I'm kind of making me nervous. They, unlike in the previous Trauma Center games, they don't generally throw in many non-operation missions unless uh, unless something's happening. Focus on your heart was removed. You're safe. I see. And the others? Same as usual. It's like this whole thing was a bad dream. Maria's fighting with the paramedics like always. <laughs> totally didn't learn anything. <laughs> wow, Dr. no Fever character development whatsoever. Around his patient's finger. While more people are getting shot. I don't think there's much to say about Dr. Cunningham. <laughs> and lastly, he went back to prison. But... It seems his circumstances have changed somewhat. I see. What what's this changed? This world may be brief, but to reject it is dishonorable. <laughs> huh? You can't give up. There's someone who still needs you. I know. Even if it is only for a little while longer. 
I don't know about that. What? Dr. Kimishima. The dormant genetic disease you had has completely vanished. What are you saying? I mean, I'm... You're not going to die. We believe that your cells... Their disease factor was expelled by the Rosalia virus. <sighs> that means... I'm... Dr. Kimishima, I have a message from all of us who helped you. There may be relapse. There's no way to know the future. But still, we want you to keep looking forward to living your life. You're vibrating. Tell Stop me. vibrating. Alyssa. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that's it. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I honestly, on the list of things I was going to do today, Finish Trauma Team wasn't one of them. Huh. I've definitely got some things to think about. I didn't, I didn't really put much thought into this yet, but I'll just say a few things I've got on my mind. One, um... Oh boy. Oh boy, we got music. I hope this isn't going to be something that's going to get me flagged. Thanks, YouTube. It's not bad. Um, I'll probably just lower the volume a bit and talk over it, though. Anyway, one thing about the game that you may, that you may have noticed if you've seen or played other Trauma Center games is that this game was inherently a whole lot easier. Just as a whole, like in, in Trauma Center, like, you know, I generally play, I played through on normal difficulty. That's where I, I base most of the difficulty curve around for this. And uh, this didn't have a difficulty. No, it didn't. So I guess you would have to consider everything and be quote normal difficulty in this. This was much, a much easier game. Like Trauma Center on normal went from missions being kind of a challenge to some being ridiculously difficult. To the point where, unless you were re like, unless you were really good at the game, you might have to switch down to easy mode for a mission or two. And comparably, this never got that way. It did get there were some difficult missions, and if you wanted to maintain a good score, it could be difficult at times. But there was nothing inherently as difficult. I'd have to say. N I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it d it does. It isn't quite noticeable, but it, it would be a game that if you wanted to introduce someone to the kind of weird but interesting nature of the Trauma Center series, this would be a much better game to do that in. Just because it's much easier to get in, like, into in terms of difficulty. They also did some amazing things. They really did. They did some amazing different things. Because all of the other Trauma Centers, as much as I like them, are fairly similar. And they may have taken a, you know, a thing or two off here and there, but this was the first big difference they did. Like, there was some flops. I, I honestly was never a fan of the endoscopy, and the bone missions got more boring as they went on when you realize that after about the first two missions, you've seen everything, more or less. The, uh, the standard operations were great as usual. The, uh... The forensics and the diagnostics, I really... I, I like the forensics the most. The diagnostics were still pretty fun. And the first response worked out pretty well. So I'd have to say overall... Most... Most of the stuff that they're used to... You know, normal operation styled stuff worked out pretty well. And their new things, I think, were were fairly okay. They, they, they were an interesting step in a new direction. And I really was very interested in following these forensic stories and to some extent you know having to figure trying to relate clues to the diagnostics 
like you see what this symptom or what this uh, symptom what diseases that might be in and that was kind of neat for me I, I personally liked it a lot they were very long I will admit but I don't know if that was a bad thing if, if they were too short that would have been a bad thing I think because they would have rushed it too much and the slow nature of it I was fairly important to keep the the pace right I think now um you know obviously I can't you know, it does, it does feel very different from the other Trauma Center games. Most of the other Trauma Center games, you discover guilt early on, and then they have a pretty lengthy battle with it, eventually leading up to finding the final bad guy boss and treating them. This was very different. Like, we didn't we didn't know about the, quote, guilt, or they call it the Rosalia, Rosalia virus, until, until very late on. We didn't treat it until very late on. Oh, I guess we got a little bit more here. But yeah, it just, it ended very quickly, comparatively. Looks like it's all come to an end. Hmm? Oh, you look beat. You want me to examine you? <laughs> yeah, well, not surprised you're tired. You did well. Are they talking to the player character? You keep standing there, you're gonna catch a cold, you know. Yeah, I think that I think he was talking to the player. <laughs> oh man, I I am the seventh member of the trauma team. Huh. <laughs> So what do we unlock now? Oh, let's just let's just take a look really quick, see what we get for all of that. Yeah, I know, come on, Nintendo. I think the brightness may be too bright, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna finish up my thoughts in just a moment. Just let me see if there's anything new that we get. Greetings, Doctor. New reports have come in regarding the Rosalia virus infections in the Portland area, including Resurgum. The pandemic has been confirmed, remedied. Upon recommendation from hospital staff, you have received specialist authorization. Oh man. A new difficulty level Thanks, Roni. specialist is available for those with high degrees of medical skill. A special gameplay element, Dr. Metals, is now available. Dr. Metals is a system of medical performance assessment. Fulfill special conditions in each stage to be awarded with applicable medals. Details about the medals you have earned will be displayed on the information screen. Doctor, I have found something of interest. Do tell. There are records that have been deleted from this hospital's data archives. I have recovered these files. Please confirm them using the extra icon in the lower left. Okay. What is this? Yeah, go ahead. Play. I want to see. Something's not right. Hi, I'm your surgeon. I will be operating on you today. Ah, uh, that's not it either. Hi, I'm... Now, why is this smiling thing so difficult? <laughs> Wait. Maybe this environment's the limiting factor. This cell's always maintained at zero degrees Celsius. Human muscle expands and contracts to produce heat. So if it's cold, muscles tighten to maintain body heat. Ugh, I can't believe it. My smiles are so stiff because of the cold temperatures. <laughs> what? Uh, but a truly skilled doctor gives relief to his patients. All right, once more. I must perfect the ultimate smile. I'm sure this was a fun voice acting session, Hi, this one in particular. I... What in the...
in the world are you doing? Uh, hi, I am a surgeon. <laughs> <sighs> Quit goofing off. You better be ready for surgery next week. Damn it. I need someone better than him to practice on. So is that supposed to kind of give you more information? Oh, is there an extra for each character? Oh, this might take a while. Let's see. How many of these are there? Is it like one? One for each person? What's this? Did somebody leave it behind? Ooh, what's this? Huh. So this is what's in lately? Why do these frilly things keep coming into style? I mean, I can't run in something like this, can I? Hmm. This isn't so bad. I can pull this off after all. Damn, I look good. <laughs> <laughs> kind of drafty. Check me out. Maria, I'm coming in. Ah! Awkward. Are you feeling okay? Any recent head injuries? You colossal ass! How could you say that? I, I can be a pretty girl too, you know! You're supposed to go, wow, Maria, you're pretty darn sexy. Sexy, huh? Excuse me, I have to go put my eyes out. <clears throat> you son of a... You won't get away with that! I'll pull out your tongue and wring your neck with it! So, just out of curiosity, is there one for each character, or is it like a... Is there like one for each mission? Let me check that. If it's the exact same audio log, then there's one for each character. Yeah, I think it is. What's this? Did somebody leave it behind? Yeah, it is. So each character seems to have their own little thing. I don't know. And you can check the metal list. Wow, that's amazing! I didn't expect you to be this great. <laughs> There's one hell of a spare you got there. What can I do to get you working for me? Marvelous. Have you ever thought about studying forensic medicine? <sighs> Not bad, youngster. You've done your country a great service. Remarkable. Perhaps you should turn your eye toward the art of Shinobi next. I think... <laughs> That's amazing, Doctor. I think one of these I is supposed to play for every medal I've gotten so far. Wow, you're amazing, Doctor. <laughs> I want to be just like you someday. Ah, such brutes. By the way, have you ever considered marriage? I see. Very impressive. I'll make sure to tell HQ about your talents. Okay, so from what I understand, these medals are, they're basically like getting little bonus things and they don't have anything to do with the actual operation. Yeah. Like I do know that, uh, what did it, like, I, if you remember, there was one point where I, on one of these, um, diagnostics operation that I was checking the uh, the wavelength in the EKG and I noticed there was a weird little break and I was like hey there's a little break there and then Roni you know states that you know there's, or I think somebody states that there's something maybe wrong with the equipment but it's not an actual problem because it only occurs once in there 
it's stuff like that. Like I do remember one time I did have to look up something once because I was getting really, really stumped. I think it might have been on uh, Gabe's son. And apparently if there was a spot you could check, he would mention something about how smart his son was or something. It has something to do with like, if there's like a really deep bump in your brain or something, like it means you're smarter. I don't really know. But yeah, like the Operation ones seem to, uh, seem to do good, like do, do certain good things. Ooh, nice. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of neat, from what I can tell. And I mean, it, it does definitely give some more depth to the game, I think. Because I could easily see myself, you know, if I wasn't so busy. I might want to see if I could go after some of these medals. That might be kind of a fun thing to do. And then there's a uh, difficulty... Oh, wait, no, there is a difficulty in this game. I totally forgot. Don't mind me. I'm just stupid. Totally forgot there was a difficulty. Really, that skipped my mind completely. I guess I just never changed it. It wasn't, there wasn't, it wasn't hard enough to do. Anyway, so back to my thoughts. I think one of my favorite things about the game, and I know, I know, you know, Trauma Center games are a little campy and kind of silly at times, but I think my favorite thing about this was that you know, right at the end when they were, when everything was getting resolved, that not everything went like, went, went back to being amazing or great or right, but everything seemed to have gotten a little bit better. And I think I liked that because it, it seemed realistic, if that makes sense. Like it wouldn't be realistic after all of this for, for CRSO one. Did we ever get a name for him? I don't think we did. It's called him, like, the kid and stuff. But it wouldn't be realistic for him to get, you know, just let out of jail after all of this. But it would be realistic to maybe, with more news from how how he didn't maybe start the kill, or how he didn't kill everybody, to maybe be given a much shorter sentence. That, that might make more sense to me. And that might have been what happened, I think, with him. I'm not sure. To me, it sounds like, just based on that little extra we heard... It sounds like maybe, um, there's extras for that too, that maybe he got put on like community service or something, you know, you got to go operate on people, something like that. And, uh, you know, Gabe, Gabe, you know, we didn't really hear that anything got better with him and his son. I'd like to imagine it would, but at the same time, I, I kind of, I, I, I really liked this ending. I really did. So overall, um, the game is easier, but I don't think that necessarily, at least a normal difficulty is easier. I should say maybe I should have played through it on hard. I don't think it just detracted from the game at all. I think some of the styles of operations did, but overall I think they ended up with a better game just because they were willing to try something different and something exciting at that. Well, I, I don't know. I didn't expect to finish Trauma Center so soon very surprising but or trauma team I should say I hope you guys enjoyed I really hope they put out another trauma center game at some point what is a uh, does it what year did this game come out it'll probably tell me on the title screen won't it I hope they do Two thousand nine, six years ago really I thought this was a little more recent than that Shows what I know. Honestly, I could I could see them putting out another Trauma Center game at some point. I don't I don't know what I know that Trauma Center never was a really high yield game, so I don't know if uh if they necessarily would get a lot of like, you know, really would be inclined to make another one. But I would certainly like it. And I know there is there's definitely a community for it. And a what I would think is somewhat under underrepresented community maybe I don't know I get a lot of people that come through on my first and second trauma center let's play even my third one honestly and they're just like oh yeah I love you know 
I'm really, I'm really liking your, you know, your Let's Play, you know, because there's not a lot of good Trauma Center Let's Plays, which is a weird one for me. I don't know why. I'm, I feel like I'm rambling at this point, but I, I could definitely see, uh, see them putting out another one at some point if the interest was high enough, and I'd certainly hope they would, because this was a, this was a good game overall, and I, and I very much enjoyed it. And there's some, there's some memorable things in there. Mostly the forensics was memorable just because of how interesting it was. So very different from a lot of other things I've done. And it, and it kind of, it, it gave me weird emotions. Like, you know, I got a legitimate sense of fear in that one operation. Maybe just because I was playing it at night. but Or not fear, but anxiety. There's a lot of anxiety going on with that. Anyway, I am blabbering on now. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Next, let's play... I'm still working on it. I know what I want to do, but I kind of want to do something else. I, I'll, I'll talk more about it later. But it's probably going to be another Wii game. And another one that I uh, one that I haven't played, so that one would be blind. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!